Hello, my name is Josh Nash, and uh, Matt is my best friend. On behalf of the Bowen family, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to the Vacaville Police Department for the unwavering support, their dedication to honoring Matt as a hero has been a source of comfort during this difficult time. We also thank the Concord PD, Vacaville Fire Department, and all their law enforcement agencies for their continued support. The outpouring of love and support from the Vacaville community, which has shown its support to the Vacaville PD and the Bowen family, is a testament of Matt's impact on all of us. Lastly, a special thank, thank you to Officer Laura Bellamy, who has been a guiding light for Matt's wife, Elizabeth, in these trying times. Matt was just not a police officer. He was a father, husband, son, brother, friend. He cherished every moment of these roles, and his dedication was unwavering. His love for his family and his procession was evident in every action he took. Matt's love of life was infectious. His sarcasm, good sense of humor, kind heart were all part of his vibrant personality. He was humble, reserved, hardworking, and perhaps most important, if you know his wife Elizabeth, he was patient. He loved, he loved and lived life to its fullest. Matthew Brent Bowen was born on April 10, 1992, to parents Mark and Becky Bowen. Mark and Becky named their, for, their firstborn son, Matthew, as a man of gift of God, which he truly was. Matt was raised in Fairfield, California. Matt loved being Jonathan's big brother. In his younger years, Matt loved family game night and could be often be found cheating in Monopoly. Matt was an avid reader and can often be found reading in his bed with his dog, Rusty. Some of Jonathan's fondest, fondest memories of Matt were playing video games as kids. When Jonathan would get stuck and needed help, he would go to his big brother, Matt. When they were older, Matt and Jonathan loved going to all-you-could-eat round table lunch buffet. Matt and Jonathan both participated in Boy Scouts as um, and eventually earned the rank of Eagle Scout, something they were both proud of. For Matt's Eagle Scout project, he built bat houses near the park near their childhood home, which are still there today, which I know has been a source of comfort for Mark and Becky to be able to go there and uh, be there with Matt. Matt was an athlete. He played soccer for many years, wrestled, competed in track and field. He eventually took his athleticism to the gym where he began lifting weights and bodybuilding, which was a big part of his life. Matt was a musician. He played the trumpet for many years, was in the marching band, and eventually earned first chair in his school band. Matt was born with an entrepreneurial spirit. Growing up, his favorite day was Grandma's Day. He and his brother would pick up cans and bottles around the neighborhood with their grandma and turn them to buy savings bonds. Matt was always looking for a way to make money. In his teenage years, he started a pet sitting business, which eventually turned into babysitting. Matt and I had big dreams. We would always talk about what kind of business we could start. We had random phone calls and shoot ideas at one another about potential businesses. His last million dollar idea was to start a solar panel cleaning business. I immediately said, no, Matt, we're not doing that. I'm going to miss those phone calls. When Matt was 19, he got a job at Red Robin. Little did he know his life was going to change forever. Matt was a busboy. I got a job as a server. We became friends. Then one day, a cute girl walked in and got a job as a hostess. Her name was Elizabeth. Thirteen years later, they were married and have two children. Matt loved his family more than anything in this world. His wife and sons were the reason he did what he did. Matt was the best father and husband. He was wholeheartedly devoted to his family. After a long day at work, no matter how tired he was, he would come home and play with the boys and help with dinner, baths, get the boys ready for bed. He loved wrestling with his oldest son, Mason. He loved going on walks to the park with the boys and Liz. He loved traveling and going on trips with Liz and the boys, and particularly to his parents' house at the beach. He loved taking the boys to Chick-fil-A. Matt was a self-proclaimed grill master. Despite his best efforts, he often undercooked or overcooked his meat. And he refused to use the meat thermometer his mother-in-law, Chrissy, got him as a subtle hint. When Matt became a police officer, he was honored and proud. He wore the badge with pride. He was committed to the communities he served and to his peers. Matt loved his time working in Concord for over three years, where he learned to become a police officer and make great friends. The time came when Liz was having their second child, and Matt wanted to work somewhere closer to home. I remember him calling me and asking what I thought about making the move to Vacaville PD as my brother, uh, as also a Vacaville PD officer, and uh, how he liked it. Matt made the move and loved every moment of it. Matt got the opportunity to join Motors. His wife and I both told him he was crazy. He had never sat on a motorcycle, let alone driven one. 
However, Matt was determined. He began, tra began training, dropped his bike a few times, fell off a time or two, but never gave up. He was resilient and determined and eventually learned to ride that bike and loved every moment of it. Matt was committed to his job, served with respect, honor, dignity, and did so with a smile on his face. Matt was committed to his department and always did the right thing. On July 11th, his parents were in town visiting. Matt had spent the night prior working the Giants game, so he went to work late that day. Liz asked him to stay home and take the rest of the day off, but Matt, being Matt, wanted to serve his community and be there for his peers. He went to work that day. Matt and I had a special friendship. What I found profound about our relationship is that although we met when we were 20, we grew up together in a sense. He was my best friend who turned into a brother. We started as young kids talking about our hopes and dreams and what our futures look like. Matt always talked about going to law enforcement, me into nursing. Through the years, we worked diligently to achieve our goals. We went through so much together, college, engagements, marriages, divorces, children, getting into our careers we always talked about, buying our first homes. Matt was always there for me. He was a friend you could come to with any problem and would support you and help you find solutions. I'm going to miss our random conversations. I'm going to miss taking our kids to the park. I'm going to miss taking the kids to feed the ducks at Pena Dobie. I'm going to miss the barbecues. I'm going to miss our million dollar conversations. I'm going to miss the sarcasm when he comments. I'm going to miss him. I love you, Matt. Thank you.